Is it normal to regret everything you say after speaking on your emotions? It's called a vulnerability hangover. If you were not abusive or mean, and your regret is about you having shared them at all, because you usually don't share them, then you're having what Brene Brown calls a vulnerability hangover. HTTPS MyQuestionLive.com slash vulnerability dash hangover slash HTTPS Medium.com slash Pricelandy slash have dash you dash ever dash experience dash a dash vulnerability dash hangover dash F2D 086 D6 B085 If these articles accurately describe you, watch some things on Brene Brown like her TED Talk. It will be very informative and change how you see yourself when you open up to people and the purpose in doing that. There are some of us, me, that should take a few moments and formulate what we really intend to convey before saying it and then maybe we wouldn't give any more of those regrets. I come across as bitchy and say what's on my mind in a not so nice attitude and instantly regret it every single time always telling myself that I won't let it happen next time. But it always does. I've come to the conclusion that my brain is always one step ahead, always answering quickly and I just need to slow down nnn. Yes, it's normal for some of us to regret it. It can be if that's the way your brain processes being vulnerable. It's helpful if you manage those feelings and help yourself through them. Are you just like embarrassed about being vulnerable? Or do you bottle it up and explode? Like where are you at? It's okay to feel negative feelings. Like sadness and anger. It's part of the human condition. It's okay to be vulnerable with others by expressing your feelings. And it's perfectly normal to feel a little afraid when you've been vulnerable with others. Perhaps consider the possibility that you are really okay just the way you are. That you're human and you don't need to pretend you're happy or placid when you're really not. Normal is arguable. Some people regret being talking about their emotions because what they've said doesn't fully encompass how they're feeling, or because saying so makes them feel vulnerable at seemingly at the mercy of the other person's response. Other people like talking about their emotions for that very reason because concretizing their emotions into words that don't fully describe what it is makes one aware of the depths and hidden aspects of such emotions. Because being vulnerable to someone you trust can be a step towards embracing your weaknesses, if they are weaknesses at all. So to answer your question, I don't know, but there's nothing wrong with talking about your emotions. There's nothing wrong with being uneasy when talking about uneasy emotions. This could have come straight from my head. I'm the same way. I'm always scared to voice how I feel. And when I do I regret it and feel guilty. And pretty much spend the rest of my life thinking about it. And how stupid I was to say those things out loud. I'm hoping to start therapy soon, so maybe I'll get some answers into how to stop this. Cause dang it. It freaking sucks. Anyway. I'm so sorry you're feeling this. But no. You are not alone. I do hope you can get some answers. It's so hard to feel like this. It's the same for me. Yes, I get it all the time. I also get it on my thoughts. I have a tendency to do this when emotions are running high. I'm trying to learn to just not discuss important matters when I'm in that state of mind. I need time. I need a walk. I need to listen to some music. I need to sleep on it. Gives me a chance to process those over-emotional moments and organize my thoughts in a way that is balanced, takes practice, gets easier. But moments will pop up of overreaction as long as you recognize it. That's most important. All the time. Now I have trained myself not to respond to anything when I am emotional harder if it's in person or over the phone, but working on it. It honestly depends upon how something is said. If it is a sensitive subject or in an argument, 
However, if you are calmly expressing your emotions, making sure people understand you and that you are not treated as a doormat, that you have valid boundaries, etc., it is hard but regret should not happen. I have been a people pleaser for 53 years and only recently was able to determine that I needed to change that without feeling bad. Sometimes I have to write a note to myself for reading the next day, telling myself I am proud of what I did and not to second guess myself. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.